Hi, BookTube. I am here today to uh, jump in on the I'm so annoyed BookTube tag. Um, I haven't been tagged by anybody because although I've been on YouTube for quite some time, um, I'm new to the BookTube community. So there's a lot of you who don't know me yet. Um, but this looks kind of fun, so I decided to jump in, and I know that some of the other new booktubers did as well. So, I, um, the last person, I've been watching these videos, um, by everybody, and they're really, a lot of them I can resonate with, and it, it's really fun. So, what I'm going to do is, I will tell you that the tag, it start, it started, um, So the tag was originally created by Melinda at a web of stories. And then um, Kelly at books I'm not reading decided to turn it into a tag and everybody's jumping in on it. So um, a lot of good, there's a lot of good questions in here. And the last person I watched with this tag is Pat and her channel is called book chat with Pat. Um, She's really cool. I've really enjoyed watching her tag. So here are my answers. Okay, without further ado, I'll get to the questions. Um, all right, number one, do publishers ever do things that you find annoying? Share an example. Okay, actually, yes. I, um, I don't have a physical example that I can show you here because um, we're moving things around and a lot of my books are packed up. However, when publishers um, decide to change the design of, um, of their covers, in they have, so if you get part of one series in the covers, for example, it's like, um, like a mass paperback quality where it's like a, like a glossy sort of cover. And then all of a sudden they come out with, um, uh, probably cheaper version, which is the matte finish. And so if you're working your way through a series, depending on where you buy them, the, the aesthetics of the book cover can be slightly different. Like the paper is different and, um, yeah, it really gets on my nerves. I don't, I don't like that so much. Okay. Number two, have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler? Even something as simple as someone else telling you that there is a great twist. Um, Yes, here's the thing. I don't mind. I don't know. Yes and no. It depends on what it is because um, I think I'm okay with it as long as you announce that there's a spoiler coming. It's kind of like where if you're talking to a friend about something, you know, if I'll tell somebody, oh, I'm starting to watch this Netflix series and I don't tell me what happens because if I don't do that, either I want to watch it or I don't or I think, well, you already told me, so I don't need to watch it. So it's the same thing with books, really. Um, so it, sometimes it can be annoying and sometimes not. But um, a warning is always good. So I appreciate the warning. Um, okay, number three. Ooh, this is a juicy one. Have you ever been annoyed by what you've discovered? Oh, dear Lord. In a little free library, a book sale, or used bookstore? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. Oh, where do I start with this one? Um, oh my. Okay, a little free library. I'll give you an example. Um, there is a, there's quite a few churches by where we live in Down Street. There is a church with a little free library that was just a poor, forlorn looking thing. You know, the stuff was busting out of it and um, I went to talk to the church office and the the secretary of the church office she has parkinson's and so she wasn't able to take care of it her daughter was taking care of it but she had a baby and she ended up staying home she lived far away so she was very appreciative as she said please by all means she said i wondered who was taking care of it because i was going by once a week and tidying things up um just because i felt like i needed to do that so in doing that, I started to discover that once a week, like clockwork, somebody would come by and uh, thoughtfully 
drop off a collection of 70s smut and, put, and just put it in there. Um, and it wasn't one or two. It was like 10 every week. So, I, I mean, first of all, it's a free library. Um, it's church, but smut. And I mean, it was really, it was really raunchy looking stuff. You can see on the covers. It's a bit, you know, the cover uh, it looked like it was from probably the, the early 70s or something. I would collect it, go get rid of it. Um, and then, sure enough, next week, there again. So it was really, I think, you know, obviously the person who did that had a problem with, um, I guarantee you, they had a problem with churches or organized religion or whatever, because I had been to any number of free libraries in the area, and not one of them had it, but this particular one had it, and it was the same books by the same author. Um, so I would keep removing it, and um, yeah, so it's a free library. I mean, come on. I don't know what this person was trying to do, but um, it, they were doing it on purpose. The other thing that would annoy me is um, if you see free libraries where people will just put their business cards, um, the ads for events, um, various religious literature, and just no. I mean, that would be, to me, that would be the equivalent. Like, um, you know, if you if I walked into, if, if, if you have a store and I walk into your store and... I'm going to put my stuff there and say that it's for sale or, or just put, you can't do that. It's a free library, but it belongs to an establishment or a person. And it's not for you to just dump whatever miscellaneous stuff or 70s smut in there. Um, it's not a free for all. So that's really, yeah, that's super annoying to me. Um, okay. <laughs> Enough about that. Let's get to the next question. Okay. So that was the free little, little free library. Okay, when it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of the collection? Um, I don't really read, uh, I don't really read stor short story collections all that much. Um, but when I do, I kind of skip around. So um, if there's a novella in the middle, it's probably not gonna, it really not gonna bother me because it doesn't matter if the books are in order or not. Um, I often don't read them in order. I read them by, you know, I'm a mood reader, so I'll read them by whichever ones I feel like at that time. So, no, I probably wouldn't even notice. Okay, number five, deckled edges, beautiful or annoying? Well, I think, um, I think that depends on the type of book. I will give you a perfect example. I have this book here. Um, it's a book that my husband gifted me and it's called A Place on Earth by Gwen Frostick. And, um, you see that? See how the, there's the deckled edges and her, you know, it's, it's a collection of, um, it's a collection of poems and, uh, she also, they are block stamped, like the images, the art is block stamped. And I'll give you an example. If you see this here. Now see that? That, to me, it's so lovely. It really, really is. As you're reading through and you see the artwork and the deckled pages, that is, that is quite lovely. If it's a regular book, absolutely not. Um, I would just be way too annoyed, and a lot of times the pages rip. This is a very small book, and the deckled edges are, they're just, oh, they're so, they're so lovely. They're so lovely. You see that? So, time and place. I mean, it's just whenever it's appropriate. This, the deckled edges for a beautiful poetry book, such as these, and all of, um, all of Gwen Frostick's books, by the way, they're all small hardcovers. They all have deckled pages and they are all, I mean, oh, I just can't say enough about these. Each one is lovelier than, than the next. So deckled edges. Yes. Fantastic. Um, in, in a book such as this. Alrighty. So moving onward, gotta see what's on my iPad here. 
other people's annotations in a used book or library book annoying or are you okay with it not only am i okay with it um believe it or not if when i'm searching for used books okay i'll give you an example like um on amazon or thriftbooks.com or something like that if i have a choice if there are two copies okay they're the exactly the same price one says that it has markings inside the other does not i will del i will deliberately buy the book that has the markings because i find other people's thoughts on books fascinating um that's why i'm here on booktube and uh yeah i'm fascinated by it i just that's my jam i love to i will seek out books that have annotations and um i love it i love to see what other people have written and um I'm sure that could go wrong at some point, but so far it hasn't. I have, um, I've gotten many books with annotations in them from other people and um, I've never been disappointed. As a matter of fact, one of the books I got from the university library um, is an old, um, a book on garment construction. And this book is dated back to the fifties. And there were tons, tons of helpful annotate annotations in that book. I rewrote notes in my in my own notebook based on that. And there were things that whoever um, you know whoever at the university wrote this in this book, those were things. The information was invaluable. I would have never known those things otherwise. Um, the book is five hundred dollars if if you need to buy a hard copy of it because it's out of print. Um, but yeah, sometimes, I don't know, annotations, they're just a treasure trove. Um, sometimes they're hilarious, but really you can get a lot of good information. So yes, bring, bring on the annotations. I absolutely love that. Um, okay, number seven. If there's a series or collection of certain kinds of books, like an imprint, or changes made, are you annoyed or okay with it? Um, nope, doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about that. That does not bother me in the least. Um, number eight, do the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you? Share the book and what decisions you found annoying. Okay, I'm probably going to get a lot of crap for this one, but... It's this book. It's this book. I just can't. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle. It's by Haruki Murakami. Um, I did not. I did not continue. I mean, this is as far as I got in the book. There's two reasons I didn't continue. Um, the first reason is is it gets um, it gets really racy, really quick, and without warning and. Um, no judgment on anybody else. I just don't care for that kind of reading. So it kind of turned me off the book. But the the main character, he makes poor decisions from the very beginning um, that I'm I'm reading, almost as if I'm seeing him doing it, thinking, why the hell are you doing this? What is wrong with you? You're supposed to be um, spoiler coming. Okay, jump ahead a second if you haven't read this book and you want to. Okay, so I'm thinking, why the hell? He's supposed to be looking for his dog. Why the hell is he at this young girl's house? The girl is weird, and he gets a weird phone call, and that's where all the, the racy stuff comes in. And I just found it a little bizarre. And I just didn't understand. I'm thinking, if this is how it's starting out, where he's making these dumb decisions... It's going to get worse. And I just wasn't, I wasn't not into it at all. So, um, yeah, that's my example. And totally annoying. Didn't continue the book at all. Um, okay. Number nine. Are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes their books? What do you find annoying? Okay. Um, the thing, I don't know if it's annoying as much as um, it makes me very confused when you see books 
that instead of instead of being able to see the um, the title and see the spine of the book, they're flipped the other way and you can just see the bare pages. Um, why would I don't I don't know I don't know I'm very confused I don't know why you would ever do that. Um, I know there was like a minimalistic uh, um, theme for a while where everybody you see the stores and they're still doing it. As a matter of fact, I was at J Crew today. And they had, um, I love J. Crew, but I didn't understand why there were outfits. And then above the outfits, they had books. And the books were all turned the opposite way, so you could just see, like, blank pages. But I was completely confused. I didn't understand why the books were there, because they didn't really relate to anything else with the outfits. And um, so, yeah, that's what I find annoying, is that I do not care for the, the plain edges of the book sticking out um how would you find anything let me know in the comments if you do that um because i don't want to offend anybody but it just i just wonder how do you find things just yeah okay let me know um okay number 10 share something bookish that you find annoying okay this is a big one for me this thing right here look at this Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cover art. Look at this by Lisa C. She's a fantastic author. I love, um, that's how far I'm in, that's how far my reading progress is with this book. I absolutely love this book so much and it's beautiful, but this really gets under my skin. I cannot stand these freaking stickers. Um, they do it at Barnes and Noble too. And um, at least this one isn't over the over the um, name or the title because if it were Barnes and Noble, they would have had it like like right here. Um, there's absolutely no reason that it can't be down here, or for that matter, put put it over here. But it's not even a sticker; it's completely it's in the cover, so there's no escaping it. The only um, the only thing I will say about that is that this is my first Target Book Club book that I bought. Um, and because it had this sticker on it, and I used my Target Circle, um, you know, you put your phone number in, and if there are specials, you can get the money off. So uh, the list price on this is $28, and I got it for $19.99. Um, so books are expensive. I think it was a great deal. But what I didn't know is that because it's a Target Book Club book, there is a letter inside to the readers from the author. It's like a special, it's a special letter that says, Dear Target Readers. And, um, you know, it's just, it's interesting that she gives a different perspective on it. And you wouldn't otherwise have that if it were not the Target Circle book. So I will probably buy more, but man, that is so annoying to have this thing on here. Um, just I don't know. Like I said, Barnes & Noble does it too. At least the stickers come off. But I've actually, I've actually moved the stickers in the store before because um, if they have, they, they have it over here, there's a lot of information you can't get. And then you have a bunch of people standing there Googling, trying to figure out what the heck the book is about. So stickers and placement, just please, anybody who's in, I don't know, anybody who's in a position of power to make that decision please put that somewhere else um so i thank you for that <laughs> so um so that is uh that concludes my answers for this tag and it says to tag other people um now i have because i'm new to the booktube community the people who I'm following have already done this tag and I've watched all of those, but I do have, um, I do have a friend in the, uh, crochet community who I know would probably be interested to jump in on this because I know that she's an avid reader and I'm going to tag my friend, Kim, the crafty nomad. Um, I am part of a lot of her collaborations. Um, She's a crocheter, a reader, um, 
and she always has a lot of interesting things going on so I am sure she has something awesome to offer to this tag so I'm gonna tag her and if you're new to booktube please jump in on the tag um, and if you haven't been on booktube and you want to start start your channel um, this is a really fun community and I'm sure everybody would love to hear your take on these questions so um, thank you I want to say thank you again to book chat with Pat. Um, her tag is the last one that I saw and um, I've been loving to watch everybody's videos and uh, I have more exciting things to share with all of you. Um, I do have a project that I'm working on uh, connected with this book and there is um, another YouTuber that I am trying to collaborate with who also has a handmade channel and as soon as I hear back from her I will let you know more about um, the project that is coming out related to this so if you've all made it this far I thank you so much for watching my channel if you haven't been here please feel free to look at my other videos I have been on YouTube since 2018 and decided to um, after taking a hiatus from some um, very life-changing things that we had going on over here. I decided to make my re-entry into YouTube and um, move over to BookTube. My channel is all about sharing my love of books and bookish projects along with tea time. And they all meet somewhere in the middle to give you um, an interesting experience and a peek into my creative world. I thank you all for joining me and um, I put out videos every Sunday and Wednesday. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in the next one. My videos come out at 8 p.m. on Sunday and 6 p.m. on Wednesday. I am looking forward to seeing you all in the next one and uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Um, I'd love to hear where you're from and um, I will see you. I hope, I hope you're all having a cozy weekend. Uh, reading what you enjoy and surrounded by people you love. I'll see you in the next one.